God does these things because he's responding to the hunger of people. You see, it is God who knows the troubles, the things that plague God's people. The answer to our problem is always the anointing. Coming through the word, coming through prophetic ministrations. There's one more person. And then we get back to finalizing the testimony. Mm. Mighty God. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Help me. in this place and you're a businessman the door of business has been closed since november last year nothing has happened to move you forward i'm seeing a door open in the spirit this is for business people this is a major reason why you came i said before you i'm quoting revelations for you the lord is setting before you a very strange open door that from tonight no power will be able to shut that door i'm saying it to you april is your month back to back testimonies upon testimonies april is your month back to back testimonies upon testimonies i prophesy this to you if you believe it receive it and let it find expression in your life in the name of jesus christ people who never heard about your business there are angels that will noise your product noise your services abroad and you will receive mysterious calls calls that will lead to your rising Calls that will restore you financially. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Yes, go ahead. Praise God. So I came from Benin yesterday. Uh -huh. Because I'm having a lot of health challenges. Health challenges. Especially with my feet. My feet, I can't stand for more than three minutes. And I can't sleep at night. So I came to church by eight today. Because I really wanted a change. While you were ministering, I was not able to stand. I was sitting down on my seat. And then you said we should receive strength to do what we could not do before. My leg that was paining me because of diabetes. You had diabetes? My God, look at this. The leg is not paining me again and I can stand. Which of them, my dear? Both of them. Go ahead and walk. Diabetes. Both of them. She came here from Benin from Benin. He does these things that men will fear him. He does these things that men will praise him. You see, you never know the price of a real miracle until you need one. The day the doctors tell you we've done our best and there's nothing else we can do. The day all the helpers, the Bible says that woman with the issue of blood, she was not careless. She spent all her earnings, not some, not part, all her earnings on physicians. And the Bible says she did not feel better in any way. When you exhaust your options and medical science, as limited as it is, is not able to help you. That's when you will know the value of a miracle. Sometimes you see people looking very healthy, but then they are plagued with cancer, plagued with whatever. Some of you may not immediately be able to check yourself because of the peculiarity of your situations. Don't share the grace and just go back home and forget. Go to the hospital. The Bible says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Go ahead and pray. So I'll bow my knees and lay my hands as a prophetic contact. Please don't be silent. Make declarations. I will return with a testimony. The Lord is turning my sorrow to dancing, my mourning uh, to joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Shame and reproach on account of this miracle service and this prophetic contact is leaving my life. That includes those who are following online. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shapratus kaligrapanda kashada bragadebelegeta. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, I release faith over these requests. Representations of the pain, the burdens, the worries of your people. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Are you releasing your faith with me? Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. 
let there be miracles in the name of Jesus miracles of fruitfulness miracles of advancement miracles of restoration miracles of strength job opportunities marital open doors celebration of children twins and triplets and quadruplets opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires restoration of marriages restoration of sick people some of you have lost money you have lost opportunities we command restoration strategic relationships that you have lost may god restore koinonia shout amen may god restore what happened to esther that lifted her may it happen to you ah someone who has faith to believe what happened to esther that took her from shushan to the palace may it happen to you what happened to ruth may it happen to you what happened to abraham that caused abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources may it happen to you what happened to gideon that empowered him to lead an army may it happen to you what happened to Lot on account of his connection with Abraham? May it happen to you. Anyone here appointed unto death that according to the plan of hell that this is your last miracle service that by the next one you would have been buried. I cancel that statement. We cancel that statement. Cancel that statement. For you and your spouse, cancelled. For you and your children, cancelled. For you and your parents, cancelled. Anyone here trusting God for a job, I bow my knees to the God of our Father and I pray for you in the name of Jesus. By next miracle service, return with your employment letter. And hear me, believe in prophecy. Anyone who has a job that is fighting your relationship with God, not allowing you go to church, not allowing you serve God, that the only way to remain in that job is to compromise. May God relocate you to another job. In the name of Jesus. There is a grace for influence and visibility. That grace can pick you from your room and can cause the nations to know you. We are privileged stewards of that grace. And in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I place that anointing on your life. Believe it, I place that anointing on your destiny. Strangers will look for you. From across the nations of the earth, may they find you. They will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family, anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach, may my God, by his hand upon your life, may he vindicate you this season. Koinonia, anyone called barren, prepare for your children coming. I say it again, anyone called barren, this is the year you carry your children. I feel led to pray for people who are trusting God for structural establishment. A house, a car. If you don't believe it, allow those who believe it to receive. But in the name of Jesus, for anyone trusting God for structural establishment, in 30 days from now, in the name that is above all names, and I say this prophetically, may my God surprise you. Beyond your savings, beyond your current resources, may my God surprise you. Houses you did not build, vehicles you don't have the money to pay for, let favor bring it to your doorstep. Hallelujah. Hear me. You have any gift upon your life 
that can announce you to the nations but who to connect with may be what is missing i pray for you right now that gift stops being silent from today that gift stops being silent from today those who need your gift may they find you those who need your gift may they find you those who can reward you for your gift may they find you in the name of Jesus therefore I declare over these requests by the power of the Holy Spirit the next request you'll be writing will be for others not for yourself again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray amen and amen amen and amen amen and amen, amen. the hands that are lifted no power will bring them down your hand represents your productivity I say it again the hands that are lifted not by witchcraft not the wickedness of men not the antagonisms of negative people no power will bring your hand down no power will silence your voice surely they will gather but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence in the name of Jesus Christ finally let me pray for you and I want you to receive this whatever makes you use your money to service sickness use your money to service police cases court cases you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of God upon your life that God has been faithful but your money is always used to resolve tragedy from today may tragedy be too late for your life did you hear what I said may tragedy be too late for your life too late for your life too late for your business too late for your ministry too late for your family in the name of Jesus shout a sevenfold amen two three four five six seven give Jesus a hand clap of praise and a shout of victory hallelujah because you have believed it prepare to come and stand here testifying because you have believed it prepare to stand here to testify in Jesus name I pray keep standing everyone you need Jesus you need him now you need him more than anything else in your life we shouldn't end tonight's service without giving you an opportunity to come to Jesus when I began my teaching preaching about salvation and the gospel everything I said struck a chord in your spirit you are saying apostle I want to rededicate my life to Jesus can I join them I'm not ashamed to declare that I need Jesus for others you are saying I'm coming for the first time I'm at the back far back can I come you are welcome I'm outside can I come you are welcome I'm counting one to five for those who seriously need Jesus not playing games with their Christian experience that you are saying today if the trumpet should sound I want to be among those who will gloriously exit in joy and with victory leave your seat and come God bless you I'm counting one to five young and old male or female there is always room at the cross come come very quickly two I count five and then I begin my prayer take your bags your Bibles everything you came to church with please be on your way to the altar come three koinonia let's encourage them as they come four Apostle, I want to come, but my family members are with me, around me. I'm ashamed to come, not with the matters of your destiny, your eternal destiny. Leave them and come. Leave them and come. You came with friends, you came with family, but make your way to Jesus. It's a personal affair. You need to be born again. You have to be born again. In the name of Jesus. You're unable to come right here. You can move to your LED screens any of the overflows outside for those connecting online or any viewing center across the nations of the earth do well to just move to the front I'm sure that there are people there who can help you and lead you to Jesus else please pray this prayer with me thank you for all of you who are here 
Place one hand on your chest and lift the other as a sign of surrender. Please say this as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I have seen your power. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now. I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life forever. From today, I am a child of God, washed by the blood of the Lamb. I go forward ever and backwards never amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you we honor you father for these ones who have come declaring your lordship over their lives and based on the integrity and the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god the grace to walk perpetually in victory let it be released upon you I commend you to the ministry of the word. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. You go forward from hence and never backwards. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Now for all of you who are here, please do me a favor by moving to my right. That will be your left. There are counselors waving the placard. They will have a word with you and a prayer with you. And then you are back to your seat. Let's honor them as they go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Clap for them the way men will clap for your testimonies. Appreciate them the way the nations will appreciate his hand upon your life. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your patience. And um, I want you to know that for every service, you do not leave the way you came. Hallelujah. That the hand of God is strongly rested upon your life. And may this week make it evident by the kinds of testimonies you will record. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you all so much for coming. May God bless you. We'll share the grace now. And uh, particularly for our international guests, we love you. Thank you for the love and labor to have traveled all the way. And especially for those who are coming here for the first time, always an honor. Koinonia is home for you, both those connecting online and those who are here on site. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Are you ready to share the grace? Let's share the grace together in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you and see you on Sunday.